every beginner, including me. I did it as well. When I was starting out, I would paint around in here, in this middle area here. Now, I think some of the reason why was because I didn't understand color mixing and I had no idea of tone. So that's how it happened. Also, when you're a beginner, because you don't know color mixing, you often just use colors straight out of the tubes and you have this mistaken notion is to go and buy every single color that the art shop has because you think that's how you get your colors out of a particular tube that's got the exact color that you need. But once you understand color mixing, you realize you only have to have like a tiny set of tubes. Like in the watercolor challenge, we only had just like four tubes of paint to paint this beautifully colored wren with bright colors, muted colors, and we mixed all of them. When you're starting out, you think that it's the tube of paint that's gonna be how you get your color onto the paper or the canvas. The other thing is that without the awareness of it, if we don't understand tone, we don't see it. The core thing that I'm working on teaching you and everybody is opening your eyes to see what's really there in front of you. So that's the whole philosophy of modern mind and Zen mind. Modern mind stops you. It puts blinkers on so that you don't have to look and work out what's in front of you. It goes, don't worry, I've got it in my memory banks up here. Zen mind is right here, right now, in this moment in time, looking at something and seeing with open eyes what you're actually looking at. If you're aware of tones, your eyes will just go boom. You'll see tone forever then. You won't be able to not see tone. You'll be able to see when things are super bright and when things are super dark. If you're not aware of it, you just kind of paint in the middle range. But once you're aware, you see where things are extremes and then you bring them into your painting. If you can't see it and notice it, if you're not aware of it, if you can't see it, how can you put it on your painting? You have to see it first and that'll register. Once you know something in your brain about what to put on your paper, that's the easy part, isn't it? Your brain goes, okay, move your shoulder, move your elbow, move your wrist, move your hand, pick up that color, put it on, put it in this way. And your brain is telling you that's the easy part. We all know how to do that because we can all write. The hard part is to see what's really there. So that's what I'm trying to teach you. That's my philosophy.